Hello, this is Heather from Twist My Stitch. Thank you for joining me for this tutorial. Before we get started, if you have any video requests, send me an email to heather at twistmystitch.com. You can also find my social media links in the description below. Please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and click on that bell to get notified of future videos. Thank you for watching, and now go twist my stitch. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to work the Tunisian crochet setup rows. We have worsted weight number four yarn and our US eight five millimeter Tunisian crochet hook. We're gonna start with a slip knot and a chain 10 for the purposes of this tutorial. For you, you're gonna work the number of chains that your pattern calls for. So we're gonna start with a slip knot. I like to work the knotless slip knot, which is essentially just a twist in your yarn. You can use a traditional slip knot if you prefer. And then we're gonna work that chain 10. So before we work the remainder of the setup row, I'm gonna show you the construction of that chain. So a chain has a front loop, a back ridge or back bump, and a back loop. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're gonna be working into the back bump, and I like to work into the first back bump from the hook. Then you're going to yarn over and pull up a loop. We're casting on live loops to our Tunisian crochet hook. So you're gonna continue casting on those live loops all the way across your chain. Now that we've got all those live loops casted on, you should have one more live loop than the number of chains that you worked. So I've got two, four, six, eight, 10, and 11. The reason why that is, is because I worked into the back bump of that very first chain. I just like the way that it looks better here on this corner. For the second part of the Tunisian crochet setup row, you're going to work a yarn over and pull through one loop, essentially creating a chain one at that first, uh, the first stitch. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through two and continue working that yarn over and pull through two till you have one loop remaining on your hook. And that's all there is to the Tunisian crochet setup row.